Hello everybody, welcome to Live Sound Engineer 101. Today we have tips for the beginning. For the season or slightest season engineer, this is just for the review. But for the beginner, it's a great start to learn how to set up and do line checks before you have to do a sound check, which can be a headache if not done correctly. So the way we just call it the basics. First, let's start with the setup or the PA system. This consists of a mix board, whether it's digital or analog, amps, EQs and effects, monitors, which are also known as wedges, house speakers, which are also known as loudspeakers, your cables, and also your microphone. Now let's get to know your equipment a little bit. The mix board, which is known as the brain of the whole system, takes the signals, processes them, and sends them to the designated places. Your amps, or better known as amplifiers, take those signals, they boost the strength of them, and send them out to the loudspeakers, or all the speakers. You have your EQs, or your equalizers. Basically, are just your, it's a set of frequencies that are used to clean up a signal, either by boosting or cutting set frequencies already predetermined on the equipment. Then you have your effects units, which are processing units that change the sound and the function of the, of the signal is where you get your reverberation or your reverb and all your delay sound. And you have your monitors, which are your speakers that's on stage. Again, they're called your wedges. They normally face your, your singers and also face your musicians so they can hear themselves and also hear others. And then you also have your loudspeakers or your house speakers. They basically face the audience to give the audience the sound that's coming through the full mix so they can hear everyone, the artist and the band clearly. Then you have your cables, which are normally your XLR cables or your, which are your mic cables or your instrument cables, which are normally your quarter inch. Then of course you have your microphones. You have your instrument microphones and you also have your vocal microphone. All right, now that we understand our equipment a little bit, now let's just set everything up. The first thing you want to do is set up your mix board. Place your monitors and have them sitting up on the stage. The next you want to set up your house or your loudspeakers. And you want to set them up in a place where they're facing the audience. Next you want to run your lines. Normally, we would like to use, in this example, we like to use a snake. A snake is basically also known as a stage box. Then you want to set your amps in a convenient location and also your effects in a convenient location near your mix board. And your amps don't really have to be near your mix board just as long as it's convenient to get to your speakers, to run lines to your speakers. Then you make all of your necessary connections, have everything running the way it's supposed to be, everything plugged up the way it's supposed to be to a decent power. That's the setup. Thanks for listening. We hope these basic tips help to take the guesswork out of setting up your next live event.